All right, guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to 20 German rules should shouldn't break. Shout out to this channel. This is uh, Huge Ning. I think her name is. Shout out to her channel. We're gonna react to her. This is one of the videos that you guys recommended in the Discord. Which we're gonna be very happy to just react. It's gonna be a little long video, but we're just gonna simply just gonna jump in. Make sure you like to subscribe. Also for donation, you can click the super chat or simply. Go to the description down below for links as well. And be part of the Discord. Let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. About a list of things you should not do when you visit Germany. As someone who lived mm. here for years and also make content about living in Germany for some Germans to see, I think I kind of qualify to talk about it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to go over this list and give you guys some of my perspective about it. Let's go. <laughs> First of all, I did not see this thing on the list, but from my personal experience, I just want to tell you, no matter what you do, do not put ice on beer in Germany. And you might say, Yuan, what kind of monster even put ice on beer anyway? Well, a lot of Southeast Asian countries do that, including my mm. country, Vietnam. When I oh, she's from Vietnam. Okay. I thought she was Korean. I thought she was Korean, but you know, Ning, you wouldn't, you and Ning. Boy, yeah, yeah, she's right. She's, yeah. Sounds about right, yeah. German sees me putting ice on beer, they act as if I was insulting their ancestor or something. Their reason is that when you water down the beer with ice, the beer loses all of the flavor. Yep, I agree you with that. Just put the whole bottle of beer into the fridge to keep it cool like that. And the thing is, there is a very good explanation to why us Vietnamese do this. In order to cool a beer down with a fridge, you need to have a fridge. And our country did not have like widely access to electricity until like recently. My village did not have electricity until 1995 and my family did not have a fridge until 2007. That Therefore, makes sense. before that time, in order to get ice, we have to travel out of the village to a convenience store to get ice. And ice was... Yeah, I mean, uh, still a lot of people don't have a uh, refrigerator. We just... <sighs> Western world, we have uh, refrigerators everywhere. But we have to think, we have to humble ourselves to think that, you know, not everybody have refrigerators. Expensive, so you have like a tiny block of ice like this. And the only solution to have a cold drink is that you crack a piece of ice and put it into the drink. Now almost everybody has a fridge in Vietnam, but I think old habit dies hard. Is that the right saying? And yep, that the reason something like is that. that Vietnam is very hot. So if you put a beer on the fridge and when you take it out, it's gonna take the beer five, ten minutes to lose its coolness <laughs> so if you want to like keep having fresh and cool beer you have to keep adding the ice that's the thing see we have a reason for that in germany it's different they had electricity in the fridge long time ago the weather is kind of cool so that was never a problem for them i kind of noticed that point. german are not very churchy or materialistic to wear like cars or like clothing you can wear or do whatever you want and nobody judge you for that but they judge you hard when it comes to beer choice they're very proud of their beer, beer the german yeah. beer and it's like something kind of sacred and they want to drink it the right way and they want people to treat it with respect yeah that's well it's basically it's basically germany is basically a very conservative culture that's what it is there's nothing wrong with that thing anyway do not put ice in beer over here don't throw away bottles Ooh. That's good. That's a good advice. Over here in Germany, uh, when you buy a bottles, you have to pay 25 cent deposit. So that after you drink mm, it, you give it back at the supermarket and you get back your deposit. It is a wonderful system and I love it. I love it. Like uh, when you buy all of the bottles, uh, I always feel so guilty even in Vietnam because when I throw the bottle away, I don't know where they end up with. But in Germany, they have a system to get back like I think 90% or higher than that of all of the plastic bottle yeah keep your bottle put it back to the supermarket or you can put okay, it next that's to not, a, that's not bad. a rubbish bin so that uh, people who in need of money could collect it and then they get some money out of it i Don't think hey personally it. i think that's a great idea if you tell me that's a great idea just to keep things clean and most importantly just to know the value of resources yeah to know the value of resources simply putting like a small value to it like if you return this bottle you will get 10 cents or 25 cents i don't know how you guys um refer to it in europe but to give it some value that really does help 
this is a very stereotypical thing about German people and it's completely true <laughs> I have nothing else to say about it they like to be on time and they want you to be respectful to what they time to so just be on time you might say that being on time is something everybody should do anyway but like for example for my culture in Vietnam people are not on time that often and people are not really like upset when you're late because they kind of expecting that so like if you're late for 5, 10, 20 minutes it's kind of like expected already so that's why it's not like globally okay but in Germany no 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 either you're early or you are on time don't be late the next Good thing point. is pretty interesting don't enter a home wearing shoes oh and I love, I love it I love this one I love this one I do that myself we have a little corner where we put all our, 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 our shoes just to keep the apartment nice and clean I like that one because in Vietnam people never ever wearing shoes in the house um, over here it's kind of the same when you arrive into like a German house take off your shoe and then walk with basically your normally your socks I like it it's just like in my country it's kind of similar cultural it keep the house clean everybody's happy mm -hmm. don't speak English and expect no one to understand okay this hits home to me <laughs> when I sit in a public transport in Germany people speak German and at the beginning I don't understand it right so for me it's just like why not it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> so when I speak English with German boyfriend I thought people would feel like it's why noise to them too because I speak a foreign language so sometimes I just say like things I don't really mind people would listen to me because I don't think they would understand me I don't know why I think that okay just weird brain thought the thing is I think most Germans can understand English very well so you know what I, they you hear know what's crazy it's just and I say something about this how far away the English was from the German actually just the opposite now that I'm learning the German, it's just becoming so close to the English. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but there's some words that can be like is, ist, right? Wo, where. There's a lot of words that are very similar to like, uh, um, kals, you know, like, which is cold. And what's the other one? Salz, which is salt. Which is salt. A lot of these are tanka. Thank you. Tanka. Tanke. A tanka. Thank you. Right? It's very similar. When you start looking at it, it's very similar. It's not that far away. If you already know English, German is just just smooth, man. It's just, it feels feels fine. It feels okay. I said that. But yeah, um, Germans speak very good English. That is very wonderful. And they speak it with like barely any accent. Don't believe those like Hollywood actors who always pretend to be German and was like, Hello, guten Tag. Ich bin... No, 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 they don't have any accent. <laughs> they sound eloquent and uh, oh, they're also very humble about that too. Don't smile and talk to strangers. Yes! <laughs> Do not smile with strangers. They would think you're crazy. <laughs> People over here, okay, the, their default face in public are like this, which is okay. But if you smile at them, they would be like, going on why are you smiling you crazy <laughs> they don't <laughs> like to be talked to in public if you approach them to ask for direction they would willingly help you for sure because they're actually very kind and helpful but if you just want to have like a small talk sometimes they're not gonna have it especially with old people they love talking to people but i just noticed that not every country are like that because one day me and my boyfriend were sitting on the train in germany and there were an american couple sitting next to us like in front of us actually and they sat down and they were like hi how are you uh blah, 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 talking to us like we are friends and i love the conversation i talked to them and i was like this is what happened in america people just sit down and they just talk to the people yeah, next yeah to so you. yeah you have, yeah it's very common over here you know to just it's very common to just have just small talk with people um all of a sudden you say good morning hey good morning how you're doing no, not too bad yeah, it could be better. Oh, I understand. And all of a sudden, you're having a conversation for five, ten minutes. It's a very American thing. You know. And I saw so many people saying things like, yeah, but they are fake. Like, they just pretend to talk to you, but they don't care about you, bro. Like, at least I have someone to talk to. It's not like it's easy to be friends with No, we, we care. We care. No, Come on now. I'm not complaining. Get on public transport without a ticket. It's pretty funny because if you visit Vietnam, I would never give you this advice since you cannot get into any public transport without a ticket 
there would be someone standing at the door checking your ticket. But in Germany, it's like it's based on a church system. So the public transport is open for everybody. You just get in, nobody checks your ticket. And they kind of like trust you that you have the ticket. And because Germans are really honest, so the system works very well. But of course, there are still people abusing the system. So uh, sometimes they would have like people uh, to come and randomly check the whole train or tram to see if everybody has a ticket. Mm. But it doesn't happen that often. But still, do not do that because if they caught you, you're gonna pay a minimum price of 60 euros. Also, you're gonna be very embarrassed in public. But I have to say, sometimes it's not the fault of the traveler. It's the fault of the German public transport system. The system is so confusing. Like if you want to buy a ticket, there are different zones, there are different lines. Like I lived here for four years. I have to say, she's funny, man. She's good. She's good. She she's had she have me locked in. She has been locked in, man. She's very good. I didn't understand the system. My boyfriend always had to buy me tickets every time <laughs> I go because I was too afraid of like buying the wrong ticket and at the end they find me. So yeah, it's sometimes it's just not our fault, okay? <laughs> Do not jaywalk. Which is kind of true. In Vietnam where I come from, there are traffic lights too, but uh, not many people follow it. So even when it's a like, green light for walking people, the car and the bikes keep driving. So um, oh when God. I move to Germany, I have to learn to stop at a red light to walk when it's green light. And the thing is, some of these countries, man, yeah, the, some of these countries, you have to the, these small laws they have to be strong, man. You you cross the street, even if it's gonna take a couple of years, you know, for people to learn. You have to, man. You have to go hard on these people because. Jaywalking is not okay. Yeah, and they don't like it when people publicly disrespect it. So if you like crossing the street in red light, get ready to be yelled at by a lot of German on the street. That's Especially interesting. Especially when a child is standing next to you, people will be even more grumpy because you are setting a bad example for the child. You probably see some of the memes about Germans just standing there in the middle of the night in a completely empty street waiting for the red light so they can cross the street. It's kind of true. I did that a really? lot with my boyfriend. He didn't let me cross if it's not green really? light at all. So yeah, don't do it. Don't address strangers with their first names. This is probably for, uh, I don't know, Southeast Asia. Yeah, but, I mean, for respect. You always go with the second, with the last name. A lot of Southern states, they do it like that here in the United States. Mr. Smith, Mr. Johnson. Uh, some places here in the Midwest, we do it like that as well. But that's for just for respect. In Asia as well. Um, because like in my culture, people address each other by the first name because like 50% of us have the same last name Nguyen already so that's why uh, if everybody is Nguyen and it's hard we address each other by the first name over here they address each other by their last name and also they have two pronouns to address the person that you talk to one is Z and one is Du Z is like for formal when you first met or like on business setting or Du is like more casual and um, that is very important two. for you it's to like the two. You it's like German in Spanish you say usted or two or, vo or, or vos all right vos two now uh, two is more casual like tu hiciste esto tu hiciste lo otro instead of saying usted hizo esto you know what i'm saying kind of like formality i don't know, I don't know sure. I don't myself. when it comes to like uh, talking to people you don't know well so yeah don't walk in bicycle lanes um before you come to Germany, if your country don't really have bicycle lanes, maybe learn what is bicycle lanes look like. It uh, on the street, it's normally look a bit red, and then there is a bicycle sign. So sometimes it's mm -hmm. a bit blending with like the walking lanes. So yep. you should learn how to like uh, tell them apart. In Vietnam, we don't really have bicycle lanes. So when I came here at first, I couldn't really tell where the bicycle lane, and I accidentally walk on bicycle lanes a lot. The thing is, bikers over here, they are kind of scary, okay? Mm -hmm. They don't stop, they own the they street. Scream at you, they right? just drive like this very fast. If you are standing on their lane, they're gonna curse on you, they're gonna dry on you, they're gonna kill you, okay? So, uh, yeah, learn about <laughs> it, stay away That's from crazy. them. Um, they are scarier than the cars over here. Don't disrespect quiet hours. What is yep. quiet hours? That's true. Uh, this country has uh, a lot of quiet hours, though. Like after 10 p.m. until the morning, you're supposed to be completely quiet. 
Wow. And on Sunday, it's also quiet time. There are some places you have to be quiet during noon as well. So basically, just be quiet all the time. Sometimes when you're with a group of friends and you get too excited in public, that's not very good as well. I mean, I appreciate that because the public space is very quiet. But at the same time, I just miss the excitement of crazy fast pace. Man, uh, Germany, a lot of Germany's like, tight though. Germany's tight, huh? They're tight, 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 man. That's crazy. Noise life for young people. Also, people get really mad when you are being noisy. At the hour that you're not supposed to be, they call the police straight away. You have wow, friends coming really? over, and the police would come and say, "Like you guys are too noisy. It's 11. This is your first warning. Things like that." Um, so yeah, be silent. Don't expect credit cards to be accepted anywhere. It's true though. Always bring cash with you when you travel to Germany. You never know. It's like 50/50 chance. Some places take card, some places don't. Cash is still king over here. I don't really have problem. I always have cash with me just in case uh, I have to pay it somewhere. Cash, in the cash. And I have to remember that. I have to remember that. Cash. Always bring cash. I have to remember that, folks. Next have thing. Do not forget to tip. Although you heard that in Germany and in Europe in general, people don't tip that much, but it's still like kind of expected. That you, you round it up, right? Somewhere between five percent and ten percent of your bill in Germany, especially in. A that's but that's new based on the other videos that I watched. It just you just run that up, huh? That's interesting. A lot of things change. If you service or like uh, in supermarket and things like that, it's not that common. But in restaurant, yeah, they yeah, do tip. tip. Yeah. And uh, at first it was very confusing to me because we don't tip at all in Vietnam. <laughs> don't <laughs> photograph people in public. Yep, Germany is very strict about it. They are all about privacy. That is why German boyfriend doesn't even show his face on my channel. As far as I understand, in America, once you are standing in a public space, people have the right to like take pictures and film yeah. you. But over here First in Germany, minute. it's not working like that. Even when you are in a public space, you are entitled to have a privacy, and people cannot take picture of you and put That's it on insane, the internet. Man. The rules is a bit complicated, and I'm not a lawyer. So I'm just telling you guys what I understand because I make a lot of like video so I have to learn about this a lot If you want to take a picture of a crowd where nobody like one person is on the focus, it's kind of okay um, But if you want to take Isn't like that the same with um, the freedom of expression? Now free, um, they have In Germany they have freedom of expression Nah, nah What's the other one? I, I forgot, I just forgot, my bad so it's kind of different. You cannot talk about other people because that that can be some charges against you. I don't know, man. Like but you can talk about a politicians. In public? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Video no, it's not is freedom the same. of speech. If a person is on the focus of the video, that is a no-go too. Even when you blur their face, if they have like tattoo or like distinguished body shape and clothes that can be recognizable, that is not good enough. Wow. I saw so many videos on the net about Germans getting angry because someone is like filming a buildings and that person walked by and, and that person is like, you are filming me and my face. I mean, I kind of understand that it's privacy for them, but like sometimes we're not even trying to capture you, we're just trying to capture the building. <laughs> but yeah, to some extent, there could be like kind of extreme, Man, so be careful. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this on my channel, but a lot of people like to drink beer over here, but you barely see drunk people in public in Germany. They Responsible. have very, very well control of their alcohol consumption. Yeah. So even though they are drinking beer in public, they are not like getting drunk and going crazy and disturb people over here, which I respect it. So if you come here, traveling and things like that, enjoy the beer, but don't be drunk in public. Don't flip the bird. I don't know this don't uh, word the in bird. English. Do not flip the bird, like flip it, like you take a bird and flip it or that thing. Oh. But I think you know what I mean, like the middle finger, don't flip the oh. middle finger. Or even like uh, insult someone with words over here. So Years don't, ago, don't do this. On a short video, I did that like a character who clip a like a middle finger, and all Germans were super shocked under the comment section. Like, oh, you don't do that. Like that is so disrespectful. But like in Vietnam and also like I saw a lot in America, like pop culture that I learned that it's just a normal thing. Even for friends, we do that, just like messing with each other. But over here, it is like 
a very disrespectful gesture so don't do that don't go around waving german flags that is very true over here if you see someone walking around with a german flag and they don't look like a football fan people would try to like stay away from that person that's crazy man wow that's crazy my guy Oof. those are gonna be culture shock thankfully gonna just go over there for a couple only for one couple of days and that's gonna come back but damn. in vietnam for example every man we have a another reason to hang the flag in america it's crazy right they have flag on everywhere literally oh but in germany you haven't gone to puerto rico we have both flying everywhere man the american flag and puerto rico flag everywhere 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 beautiful one star puerto rican flag just fly uh just flying with the american flag oh my god because of the history people have learned to like uh, extreme nationalism yeah doesn't agree. lead to like good history so they try to like tone it down they don't really express their love for the country that way and they see people who do that like having the flag in their house or if they hang the flag in the house or they hang the flag in the store or they like walking around with the flag they see it as someone who's very like radical is that the right really that's crazy, that's and, crazy man and uh, they man. wouldn't like it so yeah do not do that over here that's insane. don't stare at naked people don't stare at naked people i think this advice is written for me because the thing is of course i don't want to like stare at naked people over here but it is such a like a weird thing in my mind still so i i don't know how to behave in that situation people over here they like to be naked a lot and um, it's a normal thing so just don't stare at them she's funny man yes she, she's very good she's a very good i like her like uh, I don't know blushes or anything or if you get too awkward just don't enter those naked don't areas. do anything just because although they like to be naked they are getting naked in naked area so there would be like naked beach naked river naked forest just kindly get out of that place and your eyes will be okay don't wish someone a happy birthday before their birthday this is a very important rule you guys do not do it because they consider it unlucky over here so you really? either wish them happy birthday on their birthday or later than that in vietnam we really don't have something like that so we celebrate birthday when it's convenient to us maybe a week in advance or something like that happy but belated in Germany, birthday you celebrate something like birthday that on that day or days later and i didn't know about that so i was wishing german boyfriend earlier and he was like freaking out <laughs> so yeah try to uh keep it in your mouth until it's the right time the next thing on the list is do not show the nazi salute i mean it's true but the thing is if someone asks me like i'm going to germany soon what is the thing that i shouldn't do the nazi salute thing is not gonna cross my mind because for me it's such a common thing like i even think about going to germany and do that, that is yeah that, that's that's just like a low hanging fruit i don't think you really think about doing that that's kind of stupid if there's people doing that they're stupid too so it's like don't <laughs> so clear that you shouldn't do that behavior, already I, guess, right? I live here for four years and i have never seen anyone yeah, do that like, over stupid. here it's literally illegal for you to like do the salute wow or, like, that's crazy probably writing the nazi size illegal so too. when I saw someone some does giving the advice on the net that when you talk to a german just don't time. bring up nazi or hitler at all because it makes the german very uncomfortable um i don't really completely agree with that because although it is a very like hard topic to talk about most german i know are very educated about that topic because they were taught about that at school they learn about you that have to learn themselves. it man. they know what uh, their country did wrong and they try to not repeat the mistake yeah. ever again also don't make any nazi and hitler joke okay very good man love uh, that was a very long very good video man very good video very funny a, a lot of these rules man they move it's more cultural rules, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not written, it's just cultural rules that you have to be aware of. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. These are very important rules for their country, so you have to respect them. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think some of these rules are out of line? Or you think that some of these rules are perfectly fine we've been doing this for quite some time so just leave it alone or do you think some of these rules need to be you know a little bit modified i don't know let me know in the comment section below what you guys think i was here next one